Let's take a look at how to change a kill line then. First of all we've got to pull the old kill line out. I've already pulled most of it out from inside the bridle and typically it breaks at the lower bridle end so you're left with having to deal with the inside of the droga here. And what I'll do now is I'll pull the two set limiter tapes out. Some old drogues only have one. I'll pull the two set limiter tapes out on this one and I'll make sure that you can see them and the guide grommet assembly and now we'll pull down the center post of the drogue and we'll undo the old lock said you can just cut it off if you want that's fine but we'll get that bad boy out of there we don't need him anymore gone now we'll take our new kill line And depending on uh, what year, you're going to see different materials uh, the kill lines are made of. Um, originally, a long time ago, they were made out of tubular. That's not relevant to this conversation. And then they went to a Vectran Spectra mix. And they got away from the Vectran because they found it was uh, causing too much abrasion on materials like the black Type 12 nylon. And they went to Spectra. Right now they seem to be mostly using around 1,000 pound spectra. To put this on you open up the loop on the center post and slide the already formed loop that they've trapped into the kill, new kill line over it. You can then just back feed the remainder of your new kill line through that thus and cinch it up like so and you want it cinched up nice and tight. We're going to pay attention throughout this process to make sure that we don't foul these center posts so we don't want the kill line taking some circuitous route around it otherwise that's going to be a problem. And what I'm going to do now is feed a long rod all the way up through this uh, bridle and then you'll see me thread the kill line through it. So because we do so many of these, what we've done is we've uh, made ourselves this long uh, rod that allows us to pull the kill line through. And all I do is typically take it in sections. So I'll start at the interface between the upper and lower bridle. And I'll thread up going towards the drogue. And then I'll come out by going through the guide grommet assembly. Hope you can see that like so. That way I don't forget to do it. And I'll take a moment now just to make sure that my center posts are not fouled in any way. So I'll pull those, uh, sorry, the set limiter tapes. So I'll pull those two guys out. Whoop, come on. Like that. And then there we go, we got our bridle. I'll just feed that all out and then we know we're clear. And we'll loop it. And what I'll do now is I'll immobilize the drogue on something so I can pull against it here in a moment. I'll just pull that through now. And I want to take up all the slack. Now I'll undo the knot. And I'll take another section of this. Typically I like to try and start just below the window where you can check and see if it's cocked. And there's an easy way in here just behind the disc retaining loop. So I'll try and get in there. Sometimes you've got to open this up a little bit and just fiddle with it. You don't want to be brute, brutal and damage it. There we go. And now we'll just get it to pass up there. Again, being careful not to damage the weave, particularly on the Kevlar. And then I'll come out on the same side that my bridle's coming out right now, so I don't end up wrapping it around the drogue. Sorry, my kill line's coming out. Now I'll just tie it back on again and pull it through that section. There we go. 
just to reiterate that, you'll notice the kill lines going into the bridle on the same side on the upper and the lower. There it is, so it's not fouled. And I'll just pull that out again. Now we're down to our last section. All right, we've got it pulled all the way through now. And I'll just disconnect the pull-up rod from it. So to immobilize the drogue while I'm pulling the kill line through, I simply take a length of line and I pass it through one of the areas where the uh, upper bridle connects to the drogue envelope. On this one you can see it's Kevlar, sometimes it's Type 12, the black stuff. And I'll just loop it on there. And that way I won't damage the drogue envelope or any of the bridle while I'm putting this under tension to pull the bridle through. So we need a bit of distance now to be able to stretch out the drogue bridle and the kill line. And we're going to have to measure this under tension. It's 10 pounds for the bridle and 10 pounds for the kill line. And I'm a shop. I've set up this handy dandy little fella here with two weights on it that allow me to immobilize the bridle and the kill line under tension. And what we're going to do now is place a mark that's three inches from the very end of the bridle here. So let's put that one on. And then another mark that's 10 inches from that. Now it's okay if you don't have a fancy dancy setup like this. Two guys with two scales can do just as good a job. So remember when you've got the bridle and the kill line under tension, if you've done your job right, the center post will pull up so that the lark's head knot is touching the guide grommet assembly, but neither of the set limiter tapes are fouled around anything. So if we take a look here now we can see those two marks. This is the one that's three inches from the end of the bridle when it's under tension. And this is the mark that's ten inches on from that first dot. What we'll do now is trim the line at this last mark. and. Uh, you don't want to hot cut it, you can scissor cut it, or I prefer a razor knife on a, on a nice cutting board because it gives me a really good tapered edge. I mean, see that? There we go. And now what I'll do is I'll simply fold the line at that first knot, the one that's 10 inches from here. Fold it. I'll just do a single overhand knot like so and leave an opening in it, an eye that's big enough for a number five connector link or a slink to pass through. Snug it up a little, and all I'm gonna do now is trap the tail, bitter end I should say, back inside itself. We'll milk out the slack. There we go. We'll just throw a connector link on the uh, end of the kill line now. Pass that through the end of the bridle. There we go. Cinch it up a little. And now again if I go ahead and just put this end under tension. In this case I'm immobilizing it at the link. What I'll do now is go and check on the other side and I should have an inch and a half from the guide grommet assembly to the lark's head. So let's measure it now from the guide grommet assembly to the lark's head and there it is, an inch and a half, nailed it. So now that we've set the drogue in the kill position, we're going to put the uh, green mark on there so we know that it's cocked. Yeah. I'll remove it from the way it was immobilized on the bridle and now what I want to do instead is immobilize it on the ball handle. 
do it however you do it, but be careful not to damage your envelope. Treat it with some respect, obviously. So now all I'm doing is uh, cocking the drogue, and as you can see, the lower bridle does scrunch up. Don't get too caught up in how scrunched up it is or is it, it isn't. If you had a 60 inch lower on a 54 inch drogue, it's not going to be quite as scrunched, but it won't make any effect on how it operates. You don't want to go the other way though. On a, if you put a 54 inch lower on a 60 inch drogue, uh, you're going to have problems where it, it doesn't have enough um, range of motion to allow you to fully cock or kill. So anyway, don't get too lost in that. All I've done now is pulled from the ball handle, cocked this, I'm going to look inside my window here and I'm going to put a little green mark just to show where perfect is. Now I'll pull about four inches of kill line out of that either side. And we'll mark that up. Once the ink dries you can pull the kill line back inside and you're finished. You can go and reattach your drogue. Now, during the course of normal use, the kill line may shrink. In fact, it will if it's spectra. So periodically, you're going to need to adjust the uh, length of the kill line. So simply remove the knot, pull that extra 10 inches out that you had, and repeat the steps you've seen in this. Um, but do it whenever you feel there's a need. If you don't do it and the kill line gets too short, it will pull that guide grommet assembly apart, it'll knock the grommet out. It'll also wear on your kill line. See ya!